Hello, and welcome back to episode number, I think it's number six. Number six, episode six or seven, I'm, I'm not sure actually. Let's just say it's six. Of Shapez. Now something I want to do immediately is get rid of this. Get rid of lots of these old factory systems as they're old and inefficient and they're not good. Especially my great big green die belt. That's disgusting, and I've got to get rid of it once. On a happier note, over here I made another token generator to generate some things for copying. And I think to celebrate this, I will make a set of templates. I also don't need this. I think that's the generator for some other else. So yes, the thing with the green die belt is that I terminated the creation of the conjoiner version and other versions. So I'm going to sort everything into the garbage. has to go right into the trash bin. Similarly, the green dye system. All of these generators be gone with them. And this thing. Most that was from level eleven. It's all very decrepit. And I need to make some of these level 13 shapes. I'm going to do that this episode, I promise. I also got another upgrade to my... to my conveyor belt, so now they move at 6 seconds per second. So that means I know it's still a bit inefficient, but I'm still going to conduct, construct everything to a 4 standard instead of a 2 standard, and that's in production per second. This palette, this painter. Yeah, goodbye. Destroy all of that. I have some need for blue bat dye, but I prefer to build it from the ground up. There's this purple dye machine. Yep, send it all into the trash bin. And over at the pallet mixer number two, that goes into trash tea. Remove that. This and this too. Let's avoid it all. All of it can go into the trash bin. I don't know if I can mass delete. Yes, I can mass delete. Okay. And that's exactly what I'm going to do a lot of these to my level 11 generator. Oops. I accidentally regenerated. Deleted some of that. We're actually fine with that, because that's generating some upgrade tools. I will keep it for now. So now I'm pretty much generating only tokens. If I look at my stats menu, take a look at this. It's 3.8 per second. I don't know, it's just not living up to its efficiency standards. It's 
It's always a drop of 0 0.1 per, per second. Oh, it's up to 4.3. But yes, all this production is going to absolutely halt. Now let's go back to making the hub. This dude dealing with the hub. I need to build an 8 across generator of light dye. And this looks like a decent area to do. So what I'm going to do, and this is a bit odd, I'm going to do this. This is to take up less space. But this does mean something interesting. On the stacking front, this will take a hideous amount of those shape stackings machines. But I want to make templates, of course. But this machine will be a custom solution, and I'll make a template. I think I'll, I can actually use this as a template, because it's a good, good example of a template. And I'll copy it twice, so that will be a total, a much larger capacity. Let's build this up. Green die goes in on the left. which is impeding into the red area space. I know how common white dye will be, so I don't think I really need to templatify this machine. Actually, let's call it a... Let's call this the White Dye Maker 3. One is here, and two is here. But this is double the capacity. So for red dye, I actually want to source it from here. This is a speed of 0 0.6, and we're, these are all running at 2 per second as their speed. Okay, so, now let us begin adding of this. Okay. I'm going to need to do some interesting switching. Okay, all of this will go through here, except for this last one. This, left, this last one needs to be kept out of the way as soon as possible. And that's just that one. 
So, sometimes I'm not too sure about how these things happen. Just be in the clear. Okay. And it's not quite adding up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah. Alright, I've got it kind of working out better now. It's now producing yellow dye. Now I can have to replicate this to bring in the blue dye, which will be sourced from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Bring it along here. Now we have the eight way split. And then the color combiner. Put here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we can really just bring these right. These are slower. And then I won't need to worry ever about restrictions because there's a lot more space in this one. and bring the rest over here. This one looks a lot cleaner than this one because that one I use all the way around. And that's definitely not the cleanest way to go, but it works. And that is what matters. It works and it is still running at its rated efficiency, which is 4 per second. Because now, like conveyor belts, it can support 4 per, four per second. Before it was two per second, and that was what I designed all the levels for. At least that's what I designed token generators to be. Token generator one is a lot more compact, but this token generator two. Look at how simple. This is a side note. Look at how simple this is. Token generator two uses the already made shapes and just rotates and paints them. You see, very good. This one is a lot fancier and makes all the shapes manually but that's because it makes the shape manually of course so now we've got some light dye coming out the end and let's press it down to one
now we've got our white dye machine going strong. We can now find some squares. Oh good, there are some over here. And I will one, two, bit weird, but at least I'm getting my rated efficiency. Now, the shapes will need to be painted. As shown here, I'll need to make an eight-way painting machine. And this is also going to be a templated system. White Die Maker 3 is also a templated system, so I can... I think I will just copy it. So I first need to mix some purple dye, which, oh look, I can make a copy. And actually, this isn't really the most compact that it could be. Okay, get rid of all of this, and... There, that's much better, isn't it? Alright, much nicer. And this will be the templated design. And I will select... This. It's copy, and it will cost 1900 to copy. Okay, then. Oh, this is a color mixer, of course. Alright, this will be the new templated one, because it will include... It's four spaces. One, two, three, four. That's the amount of space it will need to split it them into their eight pathways because this is a four per second or it should unfortunately it seems like there's some kind of tiny disparity internally that is causing it to run a little bit slower than it should so I'll see if maybe this using the templated design will eliminate these costs So now look at this, I have a big machine, I just need to hook it up. It's just going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go. And plug that into the red dime. Similarly here. One, two, three. There we go. It should start making that purple dye at four per second. Now, of course, it'll take a short time to get up to its full efficiency. Though we will. These things will always never be running at their true full capacity because the color combiner is at 0.6 efficiency, 0.6 per second, and all these are rated for 0.5. And I think I'll template color, color combo. Let's say my template notation. And then I need to make an eight-way painting system. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now 
And now I'm focusing on making a template here first. Because it's a lot easier to make templates, or they're called blueprints in this game, templates now, than to custom build everything for each solution. So that will take a lot of time. And I know right now these episodes are running over 20 minutes long. This one will probably be closer to 30 or 40. But I don't care, actually. Alright. So now I have input 1 hooked right up, and input 1, oh, it has to be the shape. Okay then, let's connect that immediately. And I suppose this, what this design will call for coming in from that way. I will connect up the output of the color controller. I don't know what version it is, it's just the fast one, four per. There will be some trouble getting the tunnel system out of here. Though that will be- oh, wow, I'm- that's stupid. For those ones, I didn't even bother to hook it up to their rated entry point. I've been doing a lot of very stupid things in this series. did it again. Okay, so the first four, there's not enough room to conjoin immediately. So these top four will have tunnels going up here. I'm not even sure how that happens. Something like that happens. Because four is the longest it can go. It can't go anymore. And then those will all be immediately conjoined down here. And this will be the first four rated track here. Now that's outputting at two per second. However, we still have these other four which need to be fixed. So my solution to this is to have individual tunnels for each line. Getting a lot of tunnels in here. That should immediately. And then we have for compactness, run it along the side. Look at how nice this machine is. Now we have the purple. I've, oh. <laughs> Alright, we need to make more white circles. Because the hub calls for white circles. Of course it does. So I will input some more circles up from here at a rate of 4 per second. 
One, two, three, four. But these circles. And I can actually copy this thing. Because I now have lots of tokens. Because I'm generating them at four per second. Bring it here. We won't need this. Oh, it's sort of, sort of will. This. Go in a tunnel under the output line. Go in here. White die. Oops. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. This is bad. This is very bad. I hooked things up to the wrong inputs. Trash it. Shut it down. Shut it down. Oh no. I put the... I put that into the... Oh no, I put the shapes into the color slot. Alright. Now I can stop destroying them. I need to put a temporary destroyer. And now the real circles are running in their correct position. And now I can feed in the die. Now we can watch it start to make some white circles. And this is the template painter. Actually, yes, let's make template painter. How many of these do I need to make? 3.8k. This is really turning into a long episode. Alright, but anyway, we've got our white circles. We have our white circles and those. So now, in this big gap, I need to make the largest machine other than this that I'm going to ever make. Not ever make, but I've made thus far. The 16 position stacker. Let's orient it facing west. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This is how tall this thing's going to be, because those stackers are so darn inefficient. Unless I can make an upgrade. I need to get some of those. Actually, you know what? I am going to make improvements to this. I am at least going to want to get... want to improve my cutting, rotating, and stacking. So now... Wait, how much is this all? 1.6 times 3. I think it can make it better. And I'll plug this right into the hub. 
fact not, I'm sorry, I lied, I will build all that machine tomorrow. Or some other time whenever I film another episode of this. This has gotten way too long. I've gone on way too many sidetracks of template building. And I don't know, 40 minutes long or something. And that's no good. So with that, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this absolute behemoth of an episode.